Can someone give me a boost Like push me Slowly, slowly. One more. Okay, okay. <laughs> what the f this will be in. <laughs> this will be inside. Yeah. Hi everyone, welcome to Slumber Party. I'm Irina Kanda. I'm Farah Shemro. And I'm Anastasia. And we are the quarantine queens of House, House of Miss Joking. All right, guys, as you can see, it's very different today. It's a whole new set, but most importantly, it's because we are in some sort of a lockdown. It's called Home Advice. Yeah. So here are your homos giving you advice to stay clear it's and homie. stay home, your homies. <laughs> Stay home if you don't need to go out. Don't because yeah, like what we're doing today. Um, just for um, what do you call that? Disclaimer sake. This is my place, my studio. So we have we are the two guests. guests. So we are following the rules. And on our Zoom call today, we have Mika. Mika Hi Mika. Oh. How are you? Hello! <laughs> Hello! Oh my god! Are you here in the studio? Oh my god! Mika? <laughs> Mika, how are you? Good! Actually, quite bored and um... Huh? Actually, to be honest, I just woke up. <laughs> it's okay, after this, you can. I think you can come over and you can replace them. Yeah? As the crew. <laughs> We've been trying to get Mika for a while actually, but yeah. yeah. But finally, we got her. But then we have this home advice. But it's okay. We're gonna work through it. We're still gonna go on with this and have fun with our slumber party. So Mika, you of look course, so beautiful today. You. So you wanna tell us about more about your look? Oh, um, actually nowadays because um, okay, because where I'm um the place where I'm working actually, I mean the day job itself is actually we're closed for a month because of the lockdown or the semi lockdown again. So guys, please don't go out that much and wear a mask, okay? So you know everybody can go back to work like that. Uh, hmm? Can that's okay. So for my look wise, actually, for the past few. They actually just days have been inspired with wig bees. You know the wig styling in I'm not sure if in UK or in US. Uh-huh. Yeah, I actually saw a few of your stories styling wigs is, or so. It's really like very whimsical. Um nowadays it's actually it's either NV Peru or uh one is the recent which is Gutmik. So wow. I'm inspired to do all these wigs. Yeah, so thank you so much. Um, so how, so how did Mika Vogue get started? Like, how did you start? Um, actually, Mika Vogue started, um, with just about playing in our house, with my friends actually, because one of my friends is actually working with a luxury brand, and then um, he bought some makeup, sample makeup to do, um, you know, to play around, and then we started doing things, and then I bought one wig, one dress, this and that, until one um my si one of my sister, my one of my original sister, Filipino sister, which is Eva La Queen. Yeah, shout out to Eva La Queen. Shout out. Yes. Yeah. We we so, wanted to get yeah, her, but like we we couldn't get her, so we got you instead. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Actually, she's the original choice, lah. But she busy, uh, so we take you lah. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Uh. So she saw me in Instagram, and she invited me over to do some play makeup. Yeah. Wait. So, so you all don't much, didn't yeah. originally knew each other, is it? Um. No. No. Actually, I don't know anyone with uh doing drag except for Izzy because Izzy is a good friend of my best friend. Which uh -huh. is way back in Tantric, yeah. So mm -hmm. that's it. And then uh, after that, uh, she saw me. She invited me, and yeah. And then we play along. And then invited me to one event, which is Anastasia's um, finale, the oh. uh, where where you join the competition. Yeah. So that's where my. And then what ha what happened during that competition? I just want to know. Like, okay, moving to the next, to the next question. <laughs> <laughs> Anastasia's competition <laughs> Thank you <laughs> Yeah And then Mika Vogue um, Name Came out to One of my friend 
uh, named me Mick Mick M I K M I K, which means in the Philippines it's actually a milk candy called Mick Mick. Oh, oh okay. so you're comics I, cousin, uh, is it? And then when <laughs> I think so. <laughs> 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 I didn't know she's Filipino, babe. <laughs> Most of my friends called me already Mika, and then when they asked me what name, what drag name, I mean, even the queen when she asked me what drag name uh, should I call myself, and then I was like, I'm so blurred, I don't know anything. And then I think on that point of time, Vogue, I mean, Vogue, not Voguing, but Vogue magazine is very in that time. And then when I was like, okay, uh, uh, my, my, my aesthetic is mostly like um, look. Pretty, mm-hmm. a magazine. Rich yeah. bitch. Yeah, something like that. Then blonde. Yeah, so that when you started out, you know, doing this, then you actually entered Dread Wars, right? Oh, um, it's very stressful in a way that um, whenever the competition um, round, it's actually my off days and my day's work. So whenever uh, I'm on my off day, is it's a competition itself. So it's like literally work, compete, work, compete. Mm. Stressful in a way of I don't have much experience that time, and I really don't know how to block my brows, everything. So uh, I learned everything actually in drag wars. You know, together with my sisters, my my close sister um sapphire blast you know mm. nina Shelley, and then the rest of it yeah so i i'm still thankful with drag wars did though. you get I mean, to like perform before uh, the competition yeah i did a, a performance before the competition itself a week before the competition which is at the very first pitches oh, okay. at mount e is it mount e right mm. at that area yeah. we i remember we Eva Belladonna and Opal. Oh, ah, your sister. Yes. Uh, we forgot she <laughs> so was our sister. <laughs> you can remember your performance, but not Opal's Hi, Opal. performance. <laughs> Wait, was that your only performance prior to the competition, or were there any other performances before that? No, that's the very first. Wow. I don't know why, but but I've always had the impression that Mika Vogue has been around for quite a while, you know? Yeah, to be honest, like when yeah. we saw you in Dread Wars, we thought that, you know, you actually... You were a seasoned queen. You were a seasoned queen. You actually were around a bit longer. You've done more performances. So when you said that, you know, you were actually very stressed and like... You 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 know you were quite new to that scene. I didn't feel like yeah. That. I feel like I've watched you at handbag night yeah. like so many times. Yeah. I don't know why, but it's not. It's not. I should. So, I st- I started with same timing with you, Farah. Really? I remember. Yes. You, yeah. 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 So yeah, that means yes. we all yes. were introduced on the same night. Yes. Right? Which is, you know, the big picture. Yeah, like yeah, all of yeah. us all in drag. What? Yes. So that's my very first appearance. Oh my god. Performance oh my god. Yet. I started before her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look at you. What and look at me now, Will. Oh my god. <laughs> but it says a lot, though, if we had the impression that you were a seasoned queen, even when she, she has not even been around for so long. Yeah. Yeah, it says a lot about your drag. Well done. Oh, thank you, me. It, so it's not about my looks because it looks like getting down, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Must pull up more. No, because you're like old lady, so I thought old, so uh, been around for quite some time. Wow, you tell me of balls <laughs> calling someone old, huh? Yeah, so I basically, um, um, <laughs> wait, wait, um, you know, you, let me mean, you were in Drag Wars, so when we were just saying, you know, we actually thought you were a season queen, I honestly personally felt that, you know, you're mm-hmm. gonna go far. And I think we were all quite surprised mm. to hear you that you got eliminated quite early. Um, can you tell us actually when were you got eliminated? Mm. Were you like the third or the fourth or like we all were very shocked when we heard the news when we were at Tenchi, like who got eliminated and they said Mika? We we're like, what? Are you serious? Yeah. So can you tell us more about like your elimination and how did it feel? Oh, that uh, that a bit shady elimination. Uh, <laughs> really? Is it? Is it? Oh my god! Tell us more. Tell oh us my more. God. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, no, because actually there's a lot of rumors about the the elimination or the, the scheme of the elimination in Drag Wars. Mm-hmm. So they said there's a pattern of who will go home and this and that. And then on, I think, before Pink Dot, 
and there's a rumor that pitches will close down again blah 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 so we don't mind it because we're, we're not sure if it's really true or not on that point of time that me and Nina Shale actually got voted out or got eliminated that's the time that they want to rush out the competition itself oh. because I think of some issues or matters and then actually that point of time they made a four a bottom four so there will be a two elimination so it's between uh, me Nina uh, Shakila Jaws and Winter Diva mm -hmm. so the four of us and then there's a um, there's a there's they need to pick a name so they f asked first Winter which is one of the highest um, scored and then they asked who she picked and then she picked actually Nina and then me and Shakila, which is on that um, competition wise, Shakila is the lip sync assassin of the season. I mean, let's just make it sure we got beaten. Lah. So, me itself also. And actually, the day or two days prior to that competition, I felt already that it's my time to go. You know, I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 have, I always have that kind of feeling that there will always something hap going to happen. So that day is like I, I'm not in myself. I'm I I don't. I, there's no um, like, uh, tricks or um, what you call this one? Um, like other ideas coming out of my mind. So maybe no because one, of the stress also. Was there no one like um, mentoring you more to like help you push or elevate your craft? To like further stay because I know sometimes there can be like mental blocks, mm. and then like you, yes. and it can affect you to the point where you're like, okay, I think this is my time to go, but I don't think that should be the way mm -hmm. you know. Like, um, sometimes we should, like, surround ourselves with people who would actually help us elevate our craft and like push us further where we know yes. we're like um failing. So was there no one like mm -hmm. helping you like around you that kind besides the ones in the competition ah? Uh? Um, one person who really uh, like one of my um pillow or I can say one of my shoulder actually pillow is yeah pillow. my original sister which is Evil Queen mm. even though she is the um one of the judges but she always like asking to just just carry on actually most of all of them Viola and Gina yeah so all of them really like pushing everybody to do more this and that. But you know what, like, you know, we're done with that competition. Like, we were, we were all were surprised that you got eliminated that early. We thought we would see you in the top. Yeah, you um, made such a big statement yeah. on the first round. Yeah, so it's like, so we, were we all thought you would be a top. Yeah. Next, you know, we, we, we saw you as a bottom. But, <laughs> 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 no, I mean, but like, no, move on from that. Like, we see you around, but we still see you around, you know, in mm. drag. And that is, you know, handbag night. So, like, how do you actually get, get involved with yes. handbag night? From drag wars, from pictures. Oh, Actually, my very first gig out of pitches is actually, um, I'm not sure if it's Handbag Night or Riot. Wow. Yeah, so... so that, that really oh says God, a lot because they, they, you can remember your first two gigs. It's really like a huge thing because yes. like the, those are two big gigs, you know, and one of you I've never ever got to perform. Yeah, so which... Like, Exactly. So I was like, um, when they when they when they asked me to perform, actually I was like, are you sure? But me, I mean, I'm not the winner. Uh, I mean, I I don't know how to perform well yet on stage. This and that. I don't know. I don't know what to do. You know what kind of um, outfit, wigs, this and that. Because literally, I don't have much drag stuff with me yet. Mm -hmm. I don't have much. I I think that time I only have like three wigs. Then yeah, even the queen just giving me this and that, and then other queens also giving me, mm -hmm. yeah. And then after that, it continues. You know, I mean, until now, I keep asking myself like, what did I do to you know to 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 get all these gigs? I mean, Mika is to be to be honest and to be frank, Mika is actually Singaporean, yeah. Mika never reached Philippines yet. <laughs> <laughs> so Mika is true blood Singaporean. Okay. <laughs> we, can no claim, on that. we can claim you then. <laughs> <laughs> we can charge you GST. <laughs> Get ready to pay CPF, Mika Vogue. 
Do you serve NS? <laughs> Did Mika serve NS? Ah, uh, Mika wanted to go NS nya. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got it on camera. <laughs> No, okay, speaking about handbag night, how do you, uh, I, I, we believe that you are now in House of Stars, right? So how do you get inducted into House of Stars? Oh, um, to be frank, I don't want to be in a house. No shade, no tea, no shade. But this one, um, even my mother, North Star, knows about this. I really told them, like, face to face. Uh, um, I really don't want to be in a house. Reason wise is um, I I mean this is my thinking way back then like I don't want drama I don't want to be involved in any issues or matters because um, whatever I do I can do by myself mm -hmm. I'm not I'm not saying that I'm a big person but I don't want I don't want to be cold like I'm only doing this because I'm in a house or someone is pushing me to do so. I mean, I'm very blessed uh, when that time um, my mother Nori Star. Hi, mother Nori Star. If you're watching this, um, I'm so blessed and I'm shocked actually when she asked me to be part of the House of Star. Like, for sure, she's not drunk yet. That time. <laughs> <laughs> we're but were you? Were, were you drunk? <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, um, I, then I told her, frankly, that, um, yeah, I, I actually don't want to be in a house, but let me think, because I'm always uh, a very versatile Mika Vogue. Mm -hmm. Now you know, yeah? Really, man? <laughs> mm -hmm. Can you come over there? We Para. check, check. Eh? <laughs> Yeah, I give you my address already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you later. Uh, when when I when I'm Sorry, delivering yeah. back the parcel later, you can just follow the driver. Can can can. Yeah. Uncle want to come inside actually. I said uncle, mm, cannot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like I'm the parcel. <laughs> Take me. Yeah. yeah, uncle. I said, hey, so handsome. Uh. I said, uncle, cannot. I'm not ready right now. Uh. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't get the premium driver. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, since you mentioned that uh, you did not actually want to be in any house, and I mean you're you're an independent queen. You you can do everything yourself. Um, what what what's the pros and cons of being in House of Stars now that you're in House of Stars? Pros and cons. Pros is. Maybe the name itself, I'm not really sure because that time when I'm still not in the House of Stars, a lot of people already messaging me, Mika, are you in the House of Stars, this and that. When I go to Tantric, people will like call me out, Mika, House of Stars, this and that. I was like, um, no. I mean, really, I, I mean, I, I, I'm, I don't have any plans to be in a house and then why are you suddenly like calling me out to be House of Stars? It's, it doesn't mean that I don't want to be in a house or to about uh, inside the house of stars it doesn't mean that I'm I'm you know telling all these things. The, on that day when they asked me out and then someone asked me, Yes, Mika House of Stars, yes I am a house of stars. Yes. So it's like that it's it's maybe it's the an um additional confidence and like the pride that you're in that house, mm -hmm. you know. Cons wise actually nothing much. Maybe bonding. Bonding wise, yeah. What kind I mean, of bonding I, you want in bed, is I'm it? I'm expecting like to <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, to have more bonding with my family. In bed? Ah, I don't do incense. <laughs> I think that one is House of Gemini. <laughs> so you can ask Gina. Ask Gina. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Gin, sis, Gina. You asking me the other night, right? Ah, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I really thought. <laughs> oh my god, I thought Gina was. I was like, what? Gina, it's okay. In a ways, I'm a power top like this. Uh. Yeah, um, I, I'm, I just miss the bonding, you know, like for example. Um, taboo, you know, those are the only thing, uh, times that we can meet each other. Because nowadays, it's like they have their own um, priorities and we cannot also meet like as a group. Yeah. yeah. Um, so for spilling tea's sake, 
uh, we need to ask you a very important question. Um, on our mm -hmm. previous episode, episode 28, I don't know if you watch, um, featuring your drag mother, Norista, mm -hmm. she mentioned that you were the daughter that disappointed her the most. What is the tea? <laughs> okay, um... To be honest, when I watch that episode, uh, I keep on laughing. And <laughs> when uh, you guys asked her about um, one, uh, if you're going to choose, right, one of your daughters, uh, mo which is most disappointing one, who, and she called out my name. Because when, immediately when I watched that one, I immediately messaged her in our group chat, in our house. You know, because I'm the kind of person, if for example, like, I feel like something will bother me, I will immediately ask. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I I'm not angry, I'm not mad, I'm not sad. Actually, I am laughing. <laughs> <laughs> what did I make you, what, what, what did I do to make yeah. you disappointed, you know? Yeah, I was like also like clueless. Like, huh? What did I do? Because I'm, I'm oh, most yeah. of the time really always clueless. <laughs> the question was like recently, and for her, the only reason that she got disappointed in me is we were about to actually do a hosting, a virtual hosting, um, and I was about to call her to confirm when the timing, this and that. And then on that time, I was like um, working full shift in my day job. So I was, I was like, I'm not in my head already until I forgot to call her. So those are the, I think that's the only thing. And then that's the thing that she told me also. That's the only thing that she got disappointed. Uh, okay. uh, then I was like, uh, then I'm sorry. And then again, publicly apology, mother. I'm so sorry for, oh. for not calling you. I love you so much. You know that. I mean, at least we are happy that there was nothing serious. You know, we were like, we were like, oh shit, did we just like unlock something? Yeah, we opened a can of worms, oh my god. Yeah, like, yeah we were quite shocked also. Yeah. We were like, what did Mika do? No, I mean, thank goodness it's all just good. You know, it yeah. all could have been just a misunderstanding or miscommunication. So we're just thankful that there's nothing too serious about it. But yeah, thank you for answering our question. We really appreciate that. Yes, of course. It's you nice to know that you have such a nice relationship also like, with your, your drag family. Now, um, besides your drag family, who are you close with? Uh, which other drag? Uh, queen, are uh, you close with in Singapore? Uh, through my drag journey, um, actually Nina Chalet and Sapphire Blast, we become, the three of us really become so close that no one can really tear us apart. You know, which is way back drug wars until now, you know, we always like um, um, count on each other. We are asking each other if, you know, if, Everything is okay whenever someone is down, you know. Did you know any of them before drag? Or was it during like your drag um, journey? No, just uh, on the drag journey. I see. Because I literally don't know anyone. Okay, um, let's move on. And uh, let's talk about your branding. What is Mika Vogue's branding? Oh, Mika Vogue's brand is very um, like magazine, cover of the magazine, very Fish, very beautiful. Mm. Very <laughs> yeah, so do, do you fish. have any like specific inspirations behind your looks or like your makeup? Yeah. Or like what type of fish you like? Yeah, what type of fish you oh. like? Goldfish, puffer fish, seahorse, koi. 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 No, um, yeah, my inspiration actually we uh for Mika Vogue is. Um, of course, Manila Luzon, one is it, which is very beautiful, very talented, but sometimes quite stupid also. So that's <laughs> me. So beautiful face, Vogue magazine, but blonde. <laughs> yeah. So something like that. Maybe la. we can agree on that. <laughs> and then yeah, Valentina, uh, Raven, and Envy Peru. So those are very like when it comes to makeup, look like, very precise, very in detail. Now speaking of fishy, we couldn't agree more that you're a fishy queen. Um, who else do you think is a fishy queen in in, in the Singapore drag scene? <laughs> you can just say no one. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, there's quite quite a number of fishy queens because nowadays. When it comes to drag, it's about how you represent yourself, right? 
and how you uh, interpret your drag. But really, in my eyes, uh, actually, Viola Virus mm -hmm. one. Oh my God, very woman. Prism Lune, actually, her makeup when I first saw Prism was like. Mm. Mm. They keep on telling that Prism and me are sisters because of the makeup look. I look, I very look like Prism when it comes to like drag makeup. So that's why I changed my makeup lah. <laughs> <laughs> no, because when it comes to when I'm doing makeup, everyone like keep on telling me I look like Mona Kiki. Um, I look like Mocha Diva. Very look alike of Mocha Diva and Prism Lune. I was like, ah. What kind of makeup should I do? Like? I erase my I erase my face, yeah. <laughs> like that. So So, <laughs> so yeah, so uh Viola Prism. And, and me. <laughs> right, okay. No that. <laughs> okay, so what is the end goal for Mika Vo? I don't say an end. For me or for any career or um, the things that I'm doing because every day I keep on experimenting things mm -hmm. I mean some of the things also some of the um, like makeup wise looks outfit wise I all gained during circuit breakers so mm -hmm. I keep on experimenting what's new what is good in my face what's good in my body even though it's not changing still the same so, <laughs> i don't know how big yeah so yeah i mean like for example doing hair that yeah and wise i think if i mean i'm i'm already not contributing anything in the scene you know like i f like if i feel or like i feel and i s i've seen that i need to step down and to do other things and go back to my hometown you know mm. i mean there's a, sometimes i feel that way and i feel sometimes i feel depressed maybe because i'm just tired maybe age right farah <laughs> you got that right <laughs> one, thing, one thing about you is that you don't have there's this branding ish about you not specifically uh an aesthetic but like you you grow you've been growing a lot honestly like your your aesthetic keeps changing but i can mm. still see mika vogue in mm. every one of your looks so i think that's a really good path that you're taking that you're still venturing out but it's still very you it's still very on brand and i think you shouldn't um think about quitting drag lah there are many other people that should but oh. you are not one of them thank you <laughs> <laughs> Don't press that button on me. <laughs> okay, I think <laughs> let's just uh move on to our next segment and let us go and do some spilling of some quick tea. <laughs> Get your skip cards ready. Okay, so we have the very first question. The very first question is: If there's one thing you regret about being in House of Stars, what is it? Wow. Oh my God, regret. Becoming more beautiful? Yeah! <laughs> Can you press the shit button for me? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So polite. Okay, next question. Huh? <laughs> if you had your own house, who would be your drag daughters? Um, okay. Um, if I'm going to make a house, okay. Uh, one is, okay, Charlotte. Mm hmm. Oh my god! <laughs> just take Anna, please. Just take Anna. <laughs> just I'm take up for Anna. grabs. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. Oh, um. One of the most talented also is Iman. If, just in case, lah. Because of her personality and character. I'm more into personality and character. Alright, next question is. I am so sorry, sound man. Are you okay? Okay. Who should have been eliminated instead of you during your round? Winter Diva. Oh. Mm. Okay, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> that was a quick tea. Really quick okay. tea. So, 
the next question is <laughs> oh simple should Shaq marry the three of us make your choice uh, I like how we're like call girls now and then like you're choosing us like hey daddy which one you want three for ten dollar ni okay I will um I will shoot Ariana no 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 I will shoot Farah I will shag Ariana and I will marry Anastasia. Ah, she doesn't have like a everyone job. Everyone wants to marry me. <laughs> Am I like unstable? Like everyone wants to like secure me. <laughs> At least I'm above. You actually shouldn't shoot um Farah because also not much time left. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Next question. What is the most embarrassing thing you've done in drag? Is that too many things? <laughs> no, the most embarrassing. Um, I think I make out in drag. Was the guy cute? With a straight guy. Wow. Ooh. Why is that embarrassing? Yeah, why is that embarrassing? Is that something you'd be proud of? Because you came off. Like, you make out with Gina. That is embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Ah yeah, yeah. That's why I said Gina. Let's not start. Let's just go, with Gina. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Your own drag war sister ah? If you don't know You watch out What song Did Opal Ophelia Perform to In our Third Anniversary video <laughs> Are you lagging? Sorry I think we just lost Mika Alright this is the <laughs> uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Correct, 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 correct. Okay, 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 okay. Last question, last question, last question. If you were the mother of House of Stars, who would you kick out? Who would I kick out? Actually, don't have. Okay. How about yourself? Yeah, then, like, you because you don't want to be in a house and like, you can kick yourself. I pick myself. Like. Okay, okay, okay. We accept, accept that answer. <laughs> Such a good sport. So now it's time to play a game. What, What game are, are we playing? playing? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we are going to play. Never, Never have, have I ever. Ever. All right, everyone, <laughs> ten fingers oh up. All right, ten fingers up. My first question is: Never have I ever had sex in drag. <laughs> no, 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 no. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mika, your turn. <laughs> Never have I ever make out with another drag queen. Not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <Are> you and. <laughs> 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 yes. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't even remember. <laughs> Oh dear! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, so never have I ever fell down during a performance. Oh, oh. shit! Fell. No? No? Okay. <laughs> Surprising. <laughs> never have I ever had to lip sync for my life. Duh. <laughs> All right, mine is very very simple. Never have I ever had a wardrobe malfunction during a show, a performance. Uh, did I say wardrobe? Yeah, yes, you did. Wardrobe. <laughs> did I? Have I? Have I? Have I? Yes, you have. Which one? If I remember, I can't remember. No, she said your armpit is a wardrobe malfunction. <laughs> <laughs> she said her armpit. Her armpit is a wardrobe malfunction. Basically, I'm about to shame my armpit for one of the for my very first performance in Taboo. <laughs> That's a wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> Mika, your turn. Uh, never had I ever performed while I'm drunk. Oh. Yes, you have. We yeah. know. Yeah. Plenty of times. <laughs> Not plenty, just... okay. <laughs> Only like when the night is rough. Like literally drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Only when the night is rough. <laughs> <laughs>
never have I ever thought I was prettiest. I was the prettiest drag queen. Oh. It's okay. You are now. No, I never thought of it. So that's why. Oh, good. None of us are delusional. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you, Mika Vogue. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> never have I ever... Hooked up with another drag queen. Hooked up? Yes. Isn't it had sex? Yes. But another drag queen. Oh, that was in drag. Another okay. drag queen. Yeah. That's nasty. Wait, Mika, have you? Never. Straight. Mine is straight. Oh. Anastasia! Straight? <laughs> My turn? Anastasia. Anastasia, you did? No, I did not. Okay. <laughs> did your finger go down? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh. You will never know. <laughs> oh, wait. I don't know. No. Oh my god. Alright. Okay, to just shut everyone up, I, I'll give you all a point, okay? <laughs> Never have I ever won a competition. <laughs> yes! Put it down! Yes, I have. We have won. Oh, yeah, you did. We have won. Mika, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Shady. I just. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, your turn. Your turn. I just won Miss Photogenic. That's all. Okay, can 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 can. Put it out. Congrats, babe. That one still can, eh? Can yeah, yeah, we give, we give, we can. We give, we give, we give. Never had I ever called out being shady. Yeah. I put five I'm pretty down. sure I have la. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god, <laughs> down there. I just put all la. Okay la. Enough la. Enough la. I own la. my shady. shade. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, thank you so much Mika for being here with us. Um, it's so great getting to know you and learning so much about you. So yeah, we hope you had fun too. Thank you, thank you for having me. I mean, it's it's a pleasure to be with you guys. I mean, I miss going out. I miss seeing you guys in Tantric, you know. I miss everybody. And yeah, thank you for inviting me to be here. No problem. You. When I think when this whole thing simmers down again, we, we, we will have, have you, you in the studio. Yeah, we definitely want you here again. Yeah, Amika sure. Vogue Part thank 2, you. okay? <laughs> but thank you for joining us. We will see you soon, hopefully. But stay safe, yes. most importantly, and we I'll hope. See you soon, guys. Yeah, we hope things will be better on your side for work and drag and everything else. And yeah, thank so you. And we hope you enjoy work. yourself getting to know Mika book and we'll see you at the next slumber party. Yeah, so till then, you. remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and turn on the notification, notification button. button. Bye. Bye.